my name is Jessica and welcome to my Majestical World of Art, where today I'm going to give you some hair growth tips. Have you ever tried to grow your hair out and then about the time it gets to the point where it's in that awkward phase, you cut it off? Well, I'm going to give you five ways to overcome that awkward phase and enjoy the journey to your long locks. Go ahead and hit subscribe because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you two absolute must-haves for your hair growth journey. Okay, so here we go. Tip number one is to be open to change. Um, your hair is going to look different. It's going to be different. And so to have something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. In this case, to have something you don't have, you have to do something you don't do. And so, which means being open to change, being open to styling it differently as it grows longer. For an example, if you have a short spiky pixie cut, you're gonna wanna stop spiking it out, unless you're kinda going for like a doc from Back to the Future kinda look. So yeah, so that's number one. Be open to different styling techniques. This is a journey. Number two change your products so if you have like super straight hair um it tends it tends to want to lay on the head so like put in some volumizing powders try dry shampoo really play with different products you're gonna try volumizing products just something to kind of give the hair some lift and then if you have coarse curly hair you may have to re kind of evaluate the moisture of the ends of your hair so as your hair starts to grow out it's going to be a little bit more dehydrated make sure you really moisturize those ends you may want to pick up a, a different type of lotion to use um, or an oil or a cream something that's going to really love those curls as the hair gets longer because the longer the hair is the more care the cuticle needs so as well as changing your styling product, you also want to make sure that your scalp is healthy. So revisit your shampoo and conditioners that you're using. You want to make sure that they are promoting a healthy pH for your scalp so it's nice and clean and it allows that circulation. And also give your head a nice little massage that always helps to stimulate those hair follicles. If you have any questions about any specific um, products, Leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm more than happy to help you along your hair growth journey. Tip number three. You may have to pick up a few extra tools just to kind of get you through some of those rough spots. A lot of times longer hair doesn't have that lift, that spunk, most of the time naturally, that short hair has. To whereas long hair, you may have to do more, but it goes a long way. So really consider picking up a hot tool such as a curling iron, curling wand, a round brush, um, a blow dryer, and really kind of search some videos on how to style the length hair that you're growing into or the length hair that you now have at this stage. If you're going to be picking up hot tools and you're going to be using more heat on your hair, don't forget, going back to those products, make sure you use a heat protectant because you want, there's no sense in growing your hair out if you're just going to burn it off. So that, my friends, is tip number three. And number four is probably one of my favorites. Don't forget to accessorize. You have headbands, you have ponytail holders, you have hair pieces, you have bobby pins, and don't forget hats. Hats are wonderful. And so maybe you're saying, Jessica, I don't wear hats. Let me tell you, just about anybody, anybody can wear a hat. The key is finding the hat that fits your face, your shoulders, and finding a hat that makes you feel awesomely you. I'm gonna give you a couple of those examples now. Find that. I don't really wear ball caps. I have found this cork hat and it actually, uh, and I think this is more of like a trucker style hat, like it kind of gives me that fullness that I'm used to my hair having when I just have those bad hair days, you know? Everybody has them. You have them when you just have your hair cut. You have them when you love your, the length of your hair and you, you're definitely going to have them when you don't love the length of your hair. So 
get a hat. Then also there's headbands. Headbands are a great source of getting your hair out of your way, especially if you're used to it not being in your face. A little tip, so you can do your headband two different ways. One way is just put it in there and push it back if you need it out of your face. However, if that's not really your style, think about this. Put your headband two inches behind the back the front of your hair and then take a bobby pin and pin your hair back. Take your headband, put it in, put it right here, slide it back, and then kind of pull some hair out. It doesn't have to be straight up, but yeah, just pull some hair out and just kind of give it a little tweak, but it's gonna hold the hair back off of your face. One of my newest favorites is using hair pieces. Those can be wonderful. They're super easy. Bring your hair up and it makes it look like you have a lot more hair. For example. So sometimes my hair, if I wanna put it up, there's literally a nub. There's literally a nub on top of my head. So, I mean, how cute is this? For real though. Take your hair piece and just slide it over your little ponytail. Take a few bobby pins and attach the piece. To your hair and then just kind of blend in the rest of the hair you're, that you keep down so that way it still looks natural even though there's a whole lot that's not yours see it's super cute and so super easy if your hair is driving you crazy accessorize 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 don't forget that your products and your your accessories can work together so sometimes your accessories may not stay in unless you have hairspray in your hair so i'm kind of putting these in order as far as things you should try for my number five tip suggestion what's going to make a difference is don't be afraid to get a haircut just get a haircut so as your hair grows out, if you get a haircut that has all of the things that a haircut needs in order to embrace the new length that you're at, you're going to love it. You're going to be able to really see if this new length is actually going to work for you long term. That way it turns that awkward phase when you get into like the hardcore awkward, awkward phase. That's when you know you need a haircut. Eight times out of 10, my clients that are trying to grow out their hair, if they just get a new haircut that is suitable for their new length that they have, they're able to go through that transition. If the haircut has all of the things that the right haircut needs, you're gonna love it. You're going to be able to continue this journey to your long locks. And all of the things are your end goal in mind your preferred style, your hair texture, your facial shape, your head shape, your preferred care, and your own personal maintenance. All of those things are taken into consideration when having and receiving the right haircut. Those are my five top things. And I told you I would give you two of my absolute must-haves. My first must-have is a serum. Make sure you get a serum. Now, not all serums are created equally. There's three different types of serums on the shelf. One is to smooth and um, defrizz the hair. Another one is to flash blow dry your hair. So it's really pushing that water out and that moisture out. That's, that's the last one you want to use on your hair as you're rolling it out. 
And the third one is one for strengthening and hydrating. Those are the serums that you, that you need to pick up and use on your hair. A little bit goes a long way, so pace yourself when putting it in your hair. If you're using the right serum for your hair, the right amount and the right serum, it won't be greasy and it won't weigh it down. And my final must have in your hair growth journey is find a stylist. Find a stylist that cares about your hair, that understands all of those key things that we talked about earlier as far as what's going to make your haircuts last for you as your hair is growing out. You know, that's what we do. We want to be on this journey with you. So find a stylist. If you don't have a stylist and you're looking for a stylist, leave me a comment. Find me on Instagram and send me a message. I'm connected with stylists across the country and I'm more than happy to see what I can do to get you connected to the right person for you. If you picked up some great tips from this video, hit like, share it with your friends. Thank you for watching and until next time, go create something beautiful.